Mexico is the 11th most populous country in the world, with 121 million people. Mexico is among the world's 15 largest economies and is the second largest economy in Latin America. Welcome to our animated show of history. This episode presents a brief history of Mexico. The earliest human artifacts in Mexico are chips of stone tools found near campfire remains in the Valley of Mexico 10,000 years ago. Mexico is the site of the domestication of maize, tomato, and beans, which produced an agricultural surplus. This enabled the transition from Paleo-Indian hunter-gatherers to sedentary agricultural villages beginning around 5000 BC. In the formative era, villages became more dense in terms of population and developing into chiefdoms. The earliest complex civilization in Mexico was the Olmec culture, which flourished on the Gulf Coast from around 1500 BC. Olmec cultural traits diffused through Mexico into their formative era cultures in Chiapas, Oaxaca, and the Valley of Mexico. In the subsequent pre-classical period, the Maya and Zapotec civilizations developed complex centers at Calakmul and Monte Alban, respectively. During this period, the first true Mesoamerican writing systems were developed in the Epi-Olmec and the Zapotec cultures. In central Mexico, the height of the classic period saw the ascendancy of Teotihuacan, which formed a military and commercial empire whose political influence stretched south into the Maya area as well as north. After the collapse of Teotihuacan in 600 AD, competition ensued between several important political centers in central Mexico, such as Xochicalco and Cholula. During the early post-classic period, central Mexico was dominated by the Toltec culture. Oaxaca by the Mixtec and the lowland Maya area had important centers at Chichen Itza and Mayapan. The Aztecs, the last of pre-Columbian Mexico's great native civilizations, rose to prominence in the central valley of Mexico around 1427 by partnering with the Toltecs and Mayans. This triple alliance conquered smaller cultures to the east and west until the Aztec Empire spanned Mexico from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf Coast. The Spanish first learned of Mexico during the Juan de Grijalva expedition of 1518. The Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire began in February 1519 when Hernán Cortés arrived at the port of Veracruz. After taking control of that city, he moved on to the Aztec capital. In his search for gold and other riches, Cortés decided to invade and conquer the Aztec Empire. The territory became part of the Spanish Empire under the name of New Spain in 1535. Much of the identity, traditions, and architecture of Mexico developed during the 286-year colonial period. Cortés then colonized the area and named it Nueva España, New Spain. By 1574, Spain controlled a large portion of the Aztec Empire and had enslaved most of the indigenous population. Worse, the diseases brought into the society by the Spaniards devastated the indigenous population of Nueva España killing an estimated 24 million people between 1521 and 1605. As a result of its trade links with Asia, the rest of the Americas, Africa and Europe, and the profound effect of New World silver, Central Mexico was one of the first regions to be incorporated into a globalized economy. Being at the crossroads of trade, people, and cultures, Mexico City has been called the first world city. The Catholic Church's influence was felt in the region when missionaries began arriving in 1523. The missionaries built many monasteries and converted millions of people to Catholicism. Concerned about the Catholic Church's ever-growing power, King Carlos III of Spain expelled the Jesuits from Nueva España in the late 1700s. Inspired by the American and French revolutions, Mexican insurgents saw an opportunity in 1808 as the king abdicated in Madrid and Spain and was overwhelmed by war and occupation. The rebellion began as an idealistic peasants and miners' movement, led by a local priest, Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla, who issued the Cry of Dolores on the 16th of September, 1810. The day is celebrated as Independence Day. Mexico's short recovery after the War of Independence was soon cut short again by the civil wars and institutional instability of the 1850s, which lasted until the government of Porfirio Díaz re-established conditions that paved the way for economic growth. Agustín de Iturbide became constitutional emperor of the First Mexican Empire in 1822. A revolt against him established the United Mexican States. Later, a Republican constitution was drafted and Guadalupe Victoria became the first president of the newly born country. During this time, people had difficulty meeting tax payments and resented the central government's actions in collecting customs due to limited trade. The United States annexation of the Republic of Texas and subsequent American military incursion into territory that was part of Coahuila instigated the Mexican-American War. The war was settled in 1848 via the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Mexico was forced to give up more than one-third of its land to the U.S., including Alta California, New Mexico, and the territory claimed by Texas. 
In the 1860s, Mexico was occupied by France, which established the Second Mexican Empire under the rule of Habsburg Archduke Ferdinand Maximilian of Austria, with support of the Roman Catholic clergy and the conservatives. France never made a profit in Mexico, and its Mexican expedition grew increasingly unpopular. Finally, in the spring of 1865, after the U.S. Civil War was over, the U.S. demanded the withdrawal of French troops from Mexico. Porfirio Diaz was elected the 29th president in the late 19th century. The period, known as the Porfiriato, was characterized by economic stability and growth, significant foreign investment, and influence. The Mexican Revolution began when Madero issued the plan of San Luis Potosí and declared war on the Diaz regime. By 1911, Diaz is forced to step aside and Madero is elected president. But conflict and violence continue for the better part of the next decade. World War II further stimulated the nation's development through the development of roads, the building of factories, and the establishment of irrigation systems. Until the 80s, Mexico remained a poor country, but experienced substantial economic growth that some historians call the Mexican miracle. In recent years, the Mexican economy has had an unprecedented macroeconomic stability. Its economy is integrated with that of US and also Canada after the North American Free Trade Agreement. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for new videos updated daily.